as we all know the fault detection system is very useful for elderly people in day to day life because it can notify a person or a family member when it detects a fall and reduces the risk of delay in medical attention so it leads to the development of different types of automatic fall detection systems nowadays we can find fall detectors even in a smart watches fitness trackers and other wearables this iot based fall detector device can save a life in an emergency so in today's tutorial we are going to build iot based fall detection device using node mcu and mpu6050 sensor module the mpu6050 sensor module has built in gyroscope and accelerometer sensor the gyroscope is used to determine the orientation and accelerometer provides the information about angular parameters such as x axis y axis and z axis for detecting fall we will compare the acceleration magnitude with a threshold value if the fall is detected the device will send an sms to the concerned person node mcu esp8266 is used here as a microcontroller and wifi module to connect with if triple t gateway to send sms the circuit diagram for iot based fall detector using node mcu and mpu6050 is very simple the mpu6050 works on i square c protocol so we only need two wires to interface node mcu with mpu6050 the mpu6050 works on i square c protocol so we only need two wires to interface node mcu and mpu6050 the scl and sda pins of mpu6050 are connected to d1 and d2 pins of node mcu while vcc and gnd pins of mpu6050 are connected to the 3.3 volt and gnd of node mcu now let's move to the if triple t setup for fault detector this is the cloud connection part to make sms notification to the register mobile number before going into the cloud configuration part make sure you have an account on if triple t website now go to the if triple t website and search for the webhooks by clicking on the explore then click in the documentation so here you will get the key which will be used in our programming part after that click on the create and then click on if this then next search for the webhooks and select it after clicking on the webhooks now you need to select receive a web request so complete the trigger fields by entering the event name in my case i have given fall detected now click on that and search for the android sms now you need to enter the phone number with country code here you have to select the custom message or you can leave it as default then click on the create action and then finish now you should use the key of this webhook in our program code now let's move towards the program code as usual we have started the code by including all the required libraries the wire.as library allows you to communicate with i square c twi devices while esp8266.as library provides node mcu specific wifi routines that are that we are calling to connect to the network in the next line enter the wifi name and password and if triple t account credential now let's move to the void setup part inside the void setup 
we have initialized the baud rate and the wired library and the data transmission through the power management register now inside the void loop we have read the mpu6050 sensor data now inside the void loop read the mpu6050 sensor data and we have calibrated the accelerometer and gyroscope sensor with original values after getting the accelerometer and gyroscope values we have calculate the amplitude vector and accelerometer values now this program first takes if the accelerometer value exceeds the lower threshold if s yes, then it wait for 0.5 second and checks for the higher threshold if the accelerometer value exceeds the higher threshold then it checks for gyroscope values to calculate the change in the orientation if there is a sudden change in orientation then it waits for 10 seconds and checks if orientation remains the same if s yes, then it activates fault detected alarm inside the mpu read loop it read all the six registers for x y and z axis of accelerometer and gyroscope this is the code for iot based fault detector system using node mcu and mpu 6050 module now select your correct board from tools menu and also check the port now upload the code to your node mcu board after successful upload we can test the iot fault detector system now you can see the demo here So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's me Elson signing off for today. See you soon on the next video. Thank you.